This video is brought to you by Facebook Gaming. We're building the world's gaming community. Join us and help shape a creator-first gaming platform where you can build your own community around the games you love to stream. From the developers of your favorite tomb raiding murder porn comes a superhero blockbuster that's trying its absolute hardest to stand up to the films where Earth's mightiest heroes will face their greatest adversary yet. Rampant microtransactions. Really? Thought we were over this already. Marvel's Avengers. Discover another of Marvel's many attempts to adapt their vast universe into a game that's fun to play. From cash-grabby arcade games to mediocre movie tie-in experiences, broad multiplayer grind fests, and immersive single-player narratives. Then watch as Avengers tries to mash them all together to create a mediocre chimera that despite the gorgeous visuals and top voice acting talent, ends up feeling less like an Avengers movie and more like the Fantastic Four. It's just like Thanos snapped all the fun out of this video game. We live yet another origin story from the Avengers universe. Only this time it's for Ms. Marvel and MODOK. As you experience the Avengers through the unbearably irritating lens of a Marvel superfan, until they make a big boo-boo and blow up half of San Francisco and turn you into Gumby. Then spend the rest of the game putting your band of guys doing impressions of the movie Avengers back together, while you fight a bunch of generic robot guys and a villain who is pretending to cure superheroes, but instead is stealing their powers in a story mode that is easily the best part of the game, as long as you don't think about how it's kind of just the plot from X-Men 3. I'm the Juggernaut, bitch! Jump into the extremely repetitive gameplay loop of Avengers that will have you selecting generic missions off a map, where you'll punch things or stand in circles on four whole different levels most of which start in the same open-world maps before funneling you into yet another lab and solve some puzzles you could do while actively getting a lobotomy, all to be rewarded with loot covered in inconsequential stat modifiers that doesn't change how your character looks at all. Then repeat this over and over and over again so you can grind out more rep with the faction vendors and watch those numbers go up in an experience that wears thin before they even get through the parts with the cutscenes. And you know there's a problem when flying around shooting missiles as Iron Man is boring. Smash through the swarm of cookie-cutter baddies Marvel's Avengers throws your way by choosing your favorite of the six entire iconic Avengers they deigned to not sell you separately later on and mashing through basic two-button combos and abilities until you are literally swarmed with enemies from every angle and have to actually dodge and counter. Or just get fed up and pop your ultimate to lay waste to all the bugs swarming around you. Then realize that all the abilities you're unlocking are either boring passives or basically identical for each character. And all of them play mostly the same anyway in a battle system that is competent enough to be engaging but never quite makes it to fun. And that's before you spend 20 minutes upgrading and managing your equipment. Honestly, it wouldn't be half as bad if you didn't spend 50% of the game in load screens. Seriously, I didn't pay full price just to see the Hulk's throbbing neck veins. Once you've juiced the story for all it's worth, dive into the multiplayer. It will give you the pleasure of playing the same sh you already played all over again, except with strangers this time. And the only driving motivation is for you to keep grinding out bigger and bigger numbers, or currency to unlock different costume skins, or just give in and buy everything outright as you spend nine dollars? Are you f***ing kidding me with this? For an Iron Man skin? They all look the same! And they haven't even started to sell you heroes yet! Get ready to drop $20 to play as Dime Store Hawkeye. So slide into that Lycra and get ready to get some of vengeance. In a run-of-the-mill action game that wanted to be the destiny of superheroes, but ended up being a lot more like the Anthem. Starring... Ting Angstrong, 
the incredibly depressed Hulk, Trailer Man, Lara Crafty, The Hammer is My Penis, Captain Americant, and America's leading brand, Duracell, Marvel's Averagers. You know, if Square really wants to make money, they should just release a full nude Captain America skin. I mean, it worked for Chris Evans. This video is brought to you by Facebook Gaming. Go live and start streaming the games you love. Harriet just gave me an acid trip. There's an imposter among us. T-E-E-N-T-I-T-A-N-S. Teen Titans, let's go. Oops, I'm breaking the fourth wall. Lord Twigo will punish you, amigo.